I'm really interested in exploring how queer people of color navigate in social spaces, specifically networks, digital networks, um, and how they form community. I want to be able to create new environments that will challenge queer people of color to create um, meaningful dialogue. I'm really interested in creating spaces that are positive, proactive, and empowering to these communities who typically do not have mainstream representation and spaces, uh, safe spaces. I wanted to reconstruct uh, the uh, traditional trade show, reimagine the way that people would traditionally look at a mobile app uh, in the form of a tea lounge, which usually is a place to relax and feel safe and, and cozy. There's 10 main sections in my mobile app that people can uh, enter their photos into and that consists of community, spirituality, politics, solidarity, um, family, health, uh, amongst the, the many. And so each different section had its own tea bag. So people get to choose their tea, make it, sit down, experience the mobile app, and uh, talk to other queer people of color, other students of color who, who were present to kind of discuss what the mobile app was. Some of the videos that were playing uh, were stories and narratives uh, told by queer people of color. I sent a message, a call out on Facebook to a whole bunch of my friends and I had 32 queer people of color respond to specific prompts where they told their stories of marginalization and issues with family and spirituality, religion, um, so many different issues. Um, and so uh, that's what the videos are. What I learned about people interacting with my mobile app is that there really is a need for this kind of a platform. There uh, hardly is stuff out there that is made specifically for queer people of color uh, that focuses on social networks that create safe spaces and so I think people are open and ready for this kind of a space.